Glory be to the Triune God. Greetings to all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the 40th Friday or the 40th day of the Great Lent and the Holy Biblical Text is taken from the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 4 verse 1 to verse 13. Here we can see Jesus led by the Holy Spirit into the desert where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. After his 40 days of fasting, the devil said to him, If you are God's son, order this stone to turn into bread. Jesus answered, Man cannot live on bread alone. Then devil showed all the kingdoms of the world and told him, If you worship me, all this will be yours. Jesus again quoted from the scripture and says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. The third temptation was to throw Jesus himself down from the highest point of the Jerusalem temple. Jesus said, According to scripture, do not put the Lord, your God, to the test. At last, it is said in the Holy Bible that when the devil finished tempting Jesus in every way, he left him for a while. It is after moments of spiritual ecstasy that we are most prone to temptation. This is because there is a tendency to relax our discipline and feel we have reached spiritual maturity. Temptation is a universal experience. The act of being tempted should not be considered as sinful within itself. Jesus was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Our Lord conquered temptation and will show us the way to victory. No man has matriculated in the university of life till he has been well tempted. Everyone is tempted. Everyone who has a body to live in will be tempted through it. Everyone who has a mind will be tempted through thoughts. Temptations always attack those who are trying to do right. Temptations attack a young person who is trying to live Christian life, trying to do what is good. Those who are not seeking to do right is already a victim of temptation and their struggle is over. Satan travels God's roads and appeal to us in an attempt to twist and pervert all the good appetites God has given us. We overcome temptations by fleeing from them. We must never suppose that we can toy with them and enjoy them without yielding to them. To fight temptation, we must learn the secret of watching and praying. Watching refers to the human side and praying refers to the divine side. As we cooperate with God, we overcome our temptations. God promises a safe landing, but not a calm passage. According to one saint, 
No man is so perfect and holy as not to have sometimes temptations. And we cannot be holy. W H O double L Y. And we cannot be holy without them. Temptation cannot overtake you by its own power. Temptation can win only with your help. There is only one no to the door of a person's life and it is on the inside. The door never opens except when you open it. God is more powerful than Satan and if we are willing to look to God, he will give us the strength to overcome every temptation. May Almighty God